bank account number, it wasn't theirs. They've previously filed their taxes using city tax, so they came here to figure out, hey, why is the account number opposite of the account that I actually have? Now, the people out here, they were out here early in the morning, 10, 11. They claim when they got here, the owner of city tax financial took off. Richmond County Sheriff's Office came out, filed complaints. They talked to the owner on the phone and the owner said he would be back out here at two o'clock to help them. It is now about to be two o'clock. It's 1.59 right now. And so all of these families came right back out here to figure out what's going on with their stimulus check. They came out and so did Richmond County Sheriff's Office. The Richmond County Sheriff's Office just told me an IRS agent is on the way and inside Richmond County Sheriff's Office has some lieutenant talking to the business owner to figure out where these people's stimulus check is. So I'm gonna walk around here. Just so you can get a view of everyone. So you got deputies along this way, blocking off the road. Just wanna give you a look at how wide this scene is. Deputies all down this neighborhood road, right over here. We're at the corner of Denmark and Peach Orchard. And then you've got all these families. Again, we know lieutenants are inside of City Tax Financial and we know the IRS is on the way. I'm gonna give you a look at the people that are in line and they're frustrated. I mean, I watched them earlier today bang on the front door saying, give us our money, we want our money. These are families that need help with their children, with their meals, with their bills, and they're wondering what happened to their stimulus check. And you guys might recognize this company because we've done a previous iTeam investigation. Uh, reporter Liz Owens has investigated this company, this owner, twice. Huh? There's Richmond County deputies over there trying to make sure everybody remains calm. So if you're looking at the crowd, there are at least 40 to 50 adults out here. Now there are some kids, but at least 40 to 50 adults all claiming their stimulus check was not deposited in their account. It listed a completely different account number they had never seen before. And they're claiming the owner of City Tax Financial is behind it. When they arrived here to figure out what the situation was, the owner said he would resolve it at two o'clock. And that's why everybody's back out here. It's now a little after two o'clock. I'm gonna get a little closer. It looks like Richard County Sheriff's Office just told everyone to back away from the door. They don't want a line over there. Everyone's gotta disperse further back into the parking lot. This is a lot of families that say they are waiting for their stimulus money. There is the owner right at the door. Just went in. Try to get closer. Here's Richmond County Sheriff's Office. Stimulus check is at, and I got some answers for you. Now, this is where it happened. 
guys for people who couldn't hear that the lieutenant said that people filed their taxes and they believe another company has the checks in 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 for them but they still believe city tax has their money these families are saying the owner of city tax isn't telling the truth to the deputies So now families have been given papers to fill out and come back here. You can see they're not happy at all. It's because the bank place, who, who is that? They not, they can't get another money place in the bank. We don't owe them another money, so that's what they're doing. They do that. You probably can't make out everything they're saying, but they're frustrated with the deputies. They say the deputy is believing this this owner and he's not telling the truth about where their money is. There are a few families that said somebody needs to go to jail today. The solution here right now is deputy gave families papers to fill out and they're supposed to come back here. All right, you guys, we just wanted to give you an update of what was going on. Um, we're gonna wait to see if the IRS shows up and and what deputies wanna do moving forward because some families just don't wanna leave right now. But we wanna make sure we remain safe and that we, we respect these people's frustration. So if you want, you can tune in at four, five, and six o'clock tonight. We're gonna try to figure out the next steps for for these families